What's up, Darcy? Today on the news on the BBC, British Brainwashing Corporation. There's a new story basically about this uh, baby who's, um, or baby, well, toddler, who's got a brain, you know, sickness, uh, basically brain dead. And uh, these parents want to take him to Italy to get treatment, but the government doctors are saying no. I'm not letting him go. But uh, it just so happens that he's telling us that uh, the child's been off the um, breathing apparatus, life support, for nine hours. Is that number again? Nine. Let's have a listen. This is the worst flipping player ever seen. Basically what he said there, because this, this player thing's rubbish. Uh, he said that the child's been sleeping on its mother's lap for nine hours. And she feels comfortable to have him doing that. But here's my problem, okay? So, this new story just seems a bit odd to me. Alfie Evans presents appeal against Italy travel ban ruling. So the courts have basically ruled that this man cannot take his baby or child um, to Italy. Pause it, read that if you want. This is official story right there. Okay. But here's the thing, right? So making a big drama about this, okay? Here's the first thing. Here's the first point I'm making. Around this hospital is, is crowds of people basically trying to fight for Evans to try and get uh, to try and get the hospitals uh, and the you know the courts to decide to let them go if you know a friend of mine today said if they want to go let them go I said well yeah basically let them go I said they won't I'll tell you why because uh, this story is not about that this story is not about this Boy, this story is about the government telling you that they own your children. Simple as that. Now, in my family, there were social services involved in one of my family members in the past. Okay, like many families these days, uh, especially if you're from a council estate like I am. But uh, social services, I know how they work. Okay, and this person had said to me, they can't take my children, you know. I've had friends like this as well, not just family members, but friends. Yeah, they can't take my children, they're my kids. I said, the government could take your children and they want to take your children because your child has a birth certificate. And that birth certificate says that they own your child. You understand? That's what that's all about. That's what this story is all about. It's about showing the public that the government rules over the children past the pet, what the parents want. The parents don't get to decide what happens to this child. The government decides what happens to the child. You understand? And here's the other thing as well. Now, this uh, hospital, there's lots of disruption, obviously, because all these people hovering around outside and, uh, you know, there's heavy disruption to the hospital, okay? But they're trying to carry on as normal, they tell us. Yeah? So how many lives is this family putting at risk? Or the government putting at risk by not letting the baby go or letting the, them take it to Italy, take the child to Italy. Huh? How many people could have had their operations delayed? Yeah, putting other people's lives in danger just to prove a point. You know, let the person go. If they want to take the child, let them take the child, but they won't because it's making it subconsciously inside your mind telling you that you do not own your children if you're a citizen. If your children are born here, you got your birth certificate, you don't own them, they're not yours. You don't get them their jabs, they'll take them away. You don't take them to school, indoctrination camp, they'll take them away. You follow the rules, or they take them away. And this is what this story is all about. Telling us all 
that our children are not our own. They're owned by the government.